Okay, so I'll talk about um, KFM airfoils for a moment. The, the current wing uh, there in the background is uh, a KFM 3, which um, may include or may not include any kind of a profile. This a lot of people build in foam, so this could be just a blunt nose with you know maybe a reinforcing uh, uh, leading edge tucked inside, glued in, whatever, and shaped. Um, but then the, the important thing is the KFM3 is a 50%, 75% design. So if this is 12 inches, in which this one is, wing cord plank style, not swept or anything. So just strictly 12 inches, right? There's 24 right there. There's 12 over there. So 12 inch wing cord. Six inches is your first drop of, and divide that by three. Whatever your thickness is here is, um, is divide by three. Uh, so first drop, second drop at 75% of wing cord. So that's three inches. 12 in total, 6 at half, 3 inches at 75% from the leading edge. Alright, makes sense? That's a KFM3 standard, all day long, flat bottom. As you can see, this one's got a slight curve to it by accident. And I did something a little bit different this time. Um, if, you'll, if you can see that, is that I angled this I tied these two surfaces together so these are on the same plane. This one and this one are on the same plane. I glued them together. When I did the fold and brought it down, I pre-glued this to this at a three inch exposure while it was laying flat. Folded over, glued. Blocks are in place. I glue those in place first on a line. I blew, I, based on development, I knew that I needed a little spacer right here happens to be a piece of foam board in there that I slightly mashed to get this a little thinner on this end by just taking uh, the ruler or whatever and crushing the edge down on one edge anyway so then it comes down here and then just glues in meeting the bottom plank um, so the point here was to get a profile and the KFM style um, effect to get the KFM airfoil effect which is eddies of air or no contact surface here but air against air friction versus air against 100 percent contact of skin so that creates drag that's the main difference between KFM and, and a standard continuous elliptical shape airfoils that you have a hundred percent surface contact with air on the skin of the plane all the way to the tail of the trailing edge. KFM you lose hundred percent contact right here so it makes it more efficient causing lift having less pressure here wants it to lift therefore you can carry a heavier payload with the same size uh, in theory obviously same size airfoil thickness, same size cord rather. Anyway, so that's KFM3, and the reason that's that piece is on there, remember I said earlier that I scabbed on a piece here, because this is like the center section, so I scabbed on a piece to fill this in, in the center section. Right there, and right there. So there's a layer underneath this layer to bring this all to the same, same level.